Hey guys, middle of Monday, and I'm here live, and I'm actually super excited to be continuing, I guess what we could call part two of Church Before Church. So yesterday, for Church Before Church, we talked about uh, a pretty key concept here. In order to have great days, to deny ourselves. We talked all about self-denial yesterday and how we are called to put others before ourselves and to not live for ourselves. So yesterday I got a message behind the scenes just asking, what about the confusion between self-care and self-denial? How do I know the difference? How do I take care of myself without it being selfish, or is it selfish to take care of myself? Am I not supposed to take care of myself? So what's the difference? And I'm really excited to come on and dig a little deeper into the subject because it's such a great question. Have you ever thought to yourself, okay, Jesus says to deny myself, but then other people are like, take care of yourself, self-care, self-care. That's like the word of the year, right? So my sweet friend Amy Patrick wrote about this and a lot of these nuggets come from her writings, but I fully, fully believe that here is the issue. The confusion about self-care ultimately is rooted in two serious theological misunderstandings about what actual self-denial means. So what I want you to be careful of is to not equate denying yourself with denying your humanity. What do I mean? In Luke 9, 23, Jesus says, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. And if we're not careful here, my friends, there's going to be this unspoken but very real belief that we have where we think that denying ourselves isn't just about denying our sinful nature and de denying our desires to be our own God, but suddenly ignoring the fact that we're human and we have these physical, emotional, and mental health needs, not only that, but also with God-ordained limits. We have limits. And so if we get this theological truth messed up in our head, you're going to start to think that self-care can't be possible if we want to be denying ourselves. Okay, so follow me here for a second. Maybe you're hitting a hard season of life. It's been treacherous. There's been a lot of trials. And so you've treated needs like sleep, proper nutrition, exercise, emotional refreshment, social engagement. You're starting to see those things as luxuries that you just don't have time for. I don't have time for that. And it didn't ever occur to you that accepting those God-given limits around your human needs and actively choosing to receive God's gifts of rest, of food, of recreation, of solitude. Guys, those are all acts of worship and obedience. Have you ever made that connection? Those are God-given gifts to rest, to take care of your physical needs, emotional needs, social needs, mental health needs. And those are acts of worship and obedience. And the second area where I think we could really get lost, and I struggle with this a lot, and you guys know this on here, is it's a pride issue. Self-care or lack thereof becomes a pride issue. Why do I say that? Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus all throughout the Gospels, you guys. He always made time. He regularly set aside time to be alone, to pray, and to have meals with his friends regularly. These were priorities for him. He was always pouring out, but he was always making sure that his cup was full. Jesus, fully God and fully man. He had human needs and human limits, and he knew that he had to use those things like food and recreation and friends. Those things were vital for him. And so why was that acceptable for Jesus and not for us? right? And so be careful because you may be the person who's telling everybody else to take good care of themselves and you're not willing to take your own advice because God promises to take care of our needs. And in so many ways, he, uh, he gives us those types of resources to take care of our needs. He provides you with friends or a community to love on you. He provides you with a coach, maybe. He provides you with food in your home and a family and a table that you can sit around and sit with people. He provided us with a Sabbath. I've talked about this on here before, right? Sabbath was made for man, not man for Sabbath. God 
provided us with a day of rest because he understood that we needed that. Our human limits, our humanity requires that. So where does it go from here? Self-denial is not a behavior thing. It's a heart issue. It's a heart thing. And unless we're able to take care of ourselves, our emotional needs, our mental needs, our relational needs, our spiritual needs, we cannot deny ourselves, truly. The heart isn't going to be in it. You may do it behaviorally, but the heart and the motive and the intention behind it will not be in it. So please don't confuse self-care and self-denial. Self-care, I think it truly... Um, amplifies the beauty and the purity of self-denial. And so look at your priority planning. If you've ever studied the Proverbs 31 woman, she is does everything for her family, but it's always with delight and not duty. Have you ever denied yourself and seen it as a delight and not a duty? And why did she do that? Because she rose up before while it was still dark. She took care of her needs. She was a priority planner able to manage her own needs so that when her family was up and running, she could deny herself and be fully present with delight and not duty. She made sure she was full so she wasn't filling from an empty cup. So I hope that this explains the confusion there because I understand um, how it can seem contradictory. But if you just study it a little bit deeper, you're going to see that they actually work in harmony together. Self-care is important and that's where humanity comes into play self-denial does not mean that you deny your humanity you acknowledge your human needs you realize that taking care of yourself from a mental health perspective a spiritual perspective a physical perspective nutrition exercise all that good stuff those are acts of worship and of, ob of obedience to god this is why i love doing what i do as a faith and fitness coach because I understand that in order for you to give your utmost to the Lord, you need to make sure that you are healthy from the inside out. So you're able to pour into people and you're able to love people well. And God can use you exponentially, right? I don't see exercise as a duty. I don't see eating well as a chore. I truly see it as an act of worship. Like God has gifted our family with food and with water and with a home and like all those things and days of rest so that I can be the best version of myself when it comes to then loving God and loving people. Watch out for the pride issue behind taking care of yourself. Oh, I don't have time for that. Oh, this person, I'll tell them that they should do it, but I don't have time for that. I'm, I don't need that. It's a pride thing. Like, I don't need to take care of myself. I'm, a, I'm an extrovert. I can handle it. Or I'm a multitasker. I can handle it. We all have God-given limits. So let's honor him by taking care of ourselves. So that's the difference between self-care and self-denial. You cannot put other people before you. You cannot love other people well. You can't even see them, have compassion on them, forgive them, be kind to them. None of that is possible if you are empty. If your humanity, if your human needs are on zero. You're going to be cranky, irritable, depressed. It's just not, it, it can't happen. It can't happen. So I'd love to hear your comments, guys. I love it when you guys message me and we have conversations behind the scenes about things. So what do you think? Does that make sense? Like, am I making sense? Give me hard eyes in the comments if this is making sense, if things are clicking for you. And I want to hear your questions because I could do a part two and a part three. We could talk about this more and more because I think that this is a, a packed topic. So catch it from the beginning if you're just jumping on live. I love you guys. Hope you're having a great Monday. I was actually planning on popping on live here around dinner time to show you my famous egg roll in a bowl dinner. Two live videos in one day might seem kind of too much, but... Maybe I'll post it another time. So hope you guys are having a great time and I would love to see your comments. Talk to you soon.